Guide, and welcome to the Drecky Guide 2022 and 2023. Now, I'll be going over how to beat the Drecky in this video from a person who has beaten the game 100% on Give Me God Award difficulty. If that interests you, stay tuned and I'll go over everything you need to know when taking on the Drecky. Okay, so in this video you're watching right now in this clip, you'll be noticing that I only use the shield to take down these two Drecky. Also, I use the bow. So, these two Drecky are one of the many Drecky you'll be facing in God of War Ragnarok. In the first couple of scenes of the story, you'll be fighting one and it'll progress to two in different elements. So in this guide, I want to help you out and figure out what is the best strategies to take down one of these Drekkies. Okay, starting off, let me go over every single Drekkie's move set. No matter what Drekkie you find in the wild of God of War Ragnarok, these move sets will be a very consistent uh, string. So let's go over that now. Now, in this clip that you're noticing, I'll be going over different clips of uh, my gameplay of fighting Drekkies on God of War difficulty. And you'll be noticing, if you pay attention, the different attack strings that they use. So, starting off, he does a light normal attack with a lunge, as you see there. He does a lunge. That is an easily parryable move, depending on your shield, shield quality. Uh, I would assume at this point in time, your shield is leveled up to the appropriate level. But even at a level 1 shield, it would probably be a, a yellow ring attack, if not a red attack. So, if it's a red ring attack, dodge it. If it's a yellow ring attack, parry it. And if it's a no no ring at all attack, just parry it or dodge it or any way, any way possible. But I, pr I pr prefer just to parry it. Right. We got That's the first move set. He follows that up with a yellow ring attack, if not a red ring attack, depending on your shield. These clips will be keeping going and over and over and over. So just pay attention to my audio. I'll be giving you the tips of what move sets they do. So you will have a best chance at tackling one of these Drekkies. But also pay attention to the gameplay in the background. Sorry, okay. So, the next move set he does is a tail whip. He turns around his body. He, 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 you'll notice he turns his body a little bit and then he goes in for a tail whip. That's easily parryable. I recommend to parry that, but you can also dodge it and you can also block it. Okay. Another common move he does is an electric field. He covers the field around him in electricity while he, he, he builds up electricity charge to do an electric attack at you. So I would say roll away from that and all the Drecky in the whole entire game does this move. So pay attention to that. Okay, the last move that all the Drecky have that's not unique to that specific Drecky is the projectile red ring attack. Now all the Drecky in the entire game have this similar move set. So you will keep in mind that this move set when going up against a Drecky. They have a red ring projectile that shoots straight at you, so you have to dodge a lot of the way of that. There's no blocking, there's no parrying, you have to dodge that. And additionally, they do have a blockable projectile attack, all the Drecky. Keep in mind for that, they just shoot this projectile at you that you can easily block, whether it's poison, or there's electricity, or water. It would be blockable, and you'd have to wait it out. Lastly, I'm gonna go over the unique Drecky abilities. So you have a good idea which area that you're going up against Drecky to fight. This Drecky in particular, the Vanaheim in the crater region, is the Drecky that spits poison on the ground. Four puddles, so you have to watch out for that. And he's a poison-based Drecky. <laughs> the last unique attack a Drecky uses is a blurring attack found in the Vanaheim region. Make sure to double tap L1 to block break any blue ring attack that the Drecky throws at you. Okay. Now let's go over tips and tricks that a person that has beaten the game 100% on Give Me God of War difficulty can give you to help you fight a Drecky, whether it's one or two. Okay. So, number one. I would say is to pay attention to the stun bar or stun meter uh, below their health bars. Try to build up this as quick as possible to get a good stun off on an enemy. It does a chunk of damage. 
Make sure to pay attention to your rage meter. This is the L3 R3 button that gets you into invulnerability state where you do not take any damage and you do damage and you also can heal. Whether it be Fury, Rage, or Valor, make sure to pay attention to that. It will save you in a pinch. Another thing is pay attention to your gear, right? Make sure that you have uh, the best possible gear that you have for the fight and uh, you'll be better off that way. Another thing is to in the beginning of the fight try to use your runic attacks whether it be your axe or your blaze of chaos um the beginning of the game uh in sportenheim you'll be having the blaze and the and the axe and then later on in the game you'll be having a different type of weapon i don't want to spoil it but make sure to use all the runic attacks for that weapon in the beginning as much as you can without taking any damage and paying attention to the enemy's mechanics the reason I say to use your runic attacks first is because the enemy gets staggered. As soon as you use a heavy runic attack or a lighter runic attack that has a lot of stun on it, it will stagger the enemy. So it will give you an opportunity to attack afterwards. Lastly, before we close out the video, I want to give you another sweet tip. Pay attention to your arrows, whether it be stun arrows or sigil arrows. I recommend using stun arrows because it will build the stun meter below the Drekki's health bar, and that'll help you out. Also the relic, make sure to use your relic and your shield. Remember, pairing all his moves gives you opportunities to attack, and also the stun, as you see there, will give you opportunities to attack. Also, any other move that you dodge, listening to the guide that I gave you today, any move that you dodge perfectly, you have opportunities to attack. And good luck to you all, and hopefully you take down the Drekki just as well as I have. And take care. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Y